Good morning. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. It is raining, raining, raining. Yes, we do need rain. Yes, we do need to clear the air out. But goodness gracious sakes alive, it is raining. And I can hear it in my head. And I'm going, ah, like this. Today is a day to celebrate life today, today, our lives today. And I've chosen two families to focus on because I know their history. I know my family's history because cancer runs among us and it runs amok everywhere. But yesterday I found something very, very precious and we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes because it's something my mother wrote. And then we're gonna talk about my friends from this area and Pickens County who have traced their Alzheimer's genetics back to like 200 years ago. It is amazing to me when we look at our genetics. And so we're gonna talk about genetics, but we're gonna talk about health today and true health because you see this, this is getting better. This is getting better. I'm gonna defy the odds of my family genetics. I'm going to defy the odds and I'm gonna beat this stuff. I made up my mind. And healthy eating is part of that. And Ansley Elizabeth is sitting over here. She doesn't wanna be on here with me, but she brought me this beautiful honey. And this, you it doesn't look as gold in the camera as it really, really is. This is gold. And we have blackberry honey. I don't know which is which. And then we have this honey, and then I think we have, Ansley, is this one maybe sourwood? Maybe. Mom told her what it was, but we don't know. But honey comes from bees. Flowers are the reason bees get to eat, because they get to get the pollen. And then the bees do the work, and then the beekeeper does the work. And lately there's been a lot of beekeeping going on in Gilmer County. There's a club where a lot of people belong to it. And it is a great way to teach your children about healthy living. Bees live a healthy life. You know why? They work all the time. They don't have a lazy bone in them. <laughs> I wonder if bees have bones in them. Ansley, do bees have bones? I don't know. I don't know if a bee has a bone or not, but it's not a lazy, it's not a lazy little bone. They work all the time. That's part of life. We have to work, we have to plan, we have to do what is good for us. And um, a lot of people say, well, I just want to rest. I just want to sit in the recliner all day. I just want to do this, I want to do that. It is really great to see the production that you do. And, and bees produced all of this. I think between Uncle John and Don, they have 19 bee, is that what you call it, Ansley, a beehive? A beehive? A bee box. It's in a bee box. They have 19 of those. Swarms, that's what it is, a swarm. They have all these bees and they have worked tirelessly to watch them, to feed them, to keep them clean, to even, do you know you doctor bees? You doctor a bee, are you kidding me? Whoever thought about that? We always just thought bees were things that you just swatted and swarmed and they just got in your way. You reckon? Maybe. Okay, when you look at these flowers, these have different flowers in here and, and the bee would get different things from these flowers. Well, the bee produces different honey and these all look very different. This one is very, very dark and Lord have mercy that's heavy. How much do you think a quart weighs? It's crazy. Well, I have a friend in uh, Canton, she's a nurse, and she produces honey too. Well, she doesn't produce it, her bees produce it. And I bought this little tiny bottle from her and it was $12. And I thought, Lord have mercy, that's $12. Well, at the size it was, that would mean it would be $36 a quart. Well, this is $30 a quart. So that means that the bees have worked hard. Uncle John and Don have spent a lot of time and a lot of energy and it's $30 a quart. Okay, if you do a teaspoon a day, Ansley, can you do the math? How many teaspoons would be in a quart? <laughs> we don't know. We have no idea. A lot. A lot. But I can tell you, if you do, and, and my darling, precious, precious friend, Selena Hales, every morning did honey. Dawn always got her honey, and she and Rick sat there together, and it was kind of a ritual. They did their honey. A teaspoon a day helps with your allergies. I've been doing local honey. 
and I swear I think it's helping. I don't know if it is or if I just got better. I'm not sure why, but I'm doing local honey. If you produce local honey and you, I don't know how you know what bee produces what, but they know. And, and you can look at the honey and tell that it does all three look very different. But I think it's the coolest thing ever because this is, we're gonna use a funny word, this is free. It's not free. It's $30 a quart. Well, it's $30 a quart because to produce your bee boxes, to buy the medicine, you have to buy them, to take care of them, to buy the bee suits you have to protect yourself with. And I don't know if we've got a picture that we're gonna pull up of that or not. But bees are busy little fellers and they have now done their thing and everybody is collecting their honey. I would love to have a honey showdown and I would like to have a bunch of different people bring their honey and, and have a sampling and say, what is your favorite honey? Well, there's some honey that comes from Blairsville, Georgia that has the comb in it and this elderly gentleman does it and it was fantastic. Now, I don't like the honey with the comb in it, but I love the flavor of his honey. My friend Evelyn loves the honeycomb and she loves that. So I've got some of that going to her, but everybody has their own taste and they're like, oh, that's the best honey ever. Or, oh, that's the best honey ever. I really can't tell a big difference in it. I just know that local honey really is supposed to help with our allergies. So if you're fighting allergies, you might pick up the phone and try to buy yourself some local honey. There's a bunch of it available. Well, when we talk about health, we have to go back to our genetics, our genetics. And yesterday, I was going through a big box of stuff and I was gathering some receipts and some things that I needed and I'm organizing and, and then I find this letter. And this is a letter from May the 8th, 2001, from my mother. Now, not everybody knows exactly how we found my cancer and exactly how everything went, but it's on the same exact arm where my mother's was, same exact doctors found it. We are going through a process like mother went through. And I pick up this letter yesterday and I read it and I'm going, are you kidding me? Dr. Perot. Concerning your interest in the experimental treatment for melanoma that I've been on, tomorrow I go to Kennestone for another round of scans and x-rays to make sure the healing is holding. Along with the other scan and reports, which you already have on file in your office, I'll send you a copy of the next one. Each one, by lab comparison, has shown steady shrinkage. The last one on March the 26th showed in her liver and her neck, the, the cancer had spread. So melanoma will attack. It starts on your skin and then it attacks. The last one that they saw on her liver was too small to inject. Therefore, all treatment was discontinued. The tumor on my neck that was returning, they were treating it, it would return. They were treating it, it would return. The tumor on my neck that was returning has, complete, has gone completely. As you know, they are watching me very carefully. Mother was given six months to live. She lived two years and two months. The doctor gave her six months to live. The Lord gave her two years and two months. So, and then this is mother, the rest of her letter. I'm sure you've read the introduction to the experimental treatment that I gave to your office when it first started. And, and mother's attitude was just like mine do whatever you have to to save my arm, do whatever you have to to stop the cancer, do whatever you have to, I'll do whatever you want me to do. The treatment has been so much easier on me than the reports I've had from patients who've had chemo only as their treatment. Dr. Bordoni and mother said nothing but wonderful, wonderful things. Dr. Bordoni has even been including my progress in his speeches to other doctors on the subject. He says that the treatment has been quicker and more effective on me than on anyone else who has taken it. However, Dr. Perot, you get credit for that since you introduced me to the great one who has to approve all of our healings, no matter what the treatment might be. Again, thank you. Dr. Perot brought my mother back from being almost an atheist to believing in God again and that is life. If we don't have God in our life, I say we are in serious, serious trouble. Through mother's cancer, God was a big part of it, and we all know that, we know that. 
And I didn't even know that mother was worried about my cousin Nancy, but it says concerning my niece Nancy, she's in her early 40s and works for a good doctor. So between her doctor and Aunt Hazel's preaching, she has every opportunity to get completely healed. Mother was trying to bring Nancy to know God because Nancy had not been religious and had not um, had any kind of personal relationship with Jesus and, and it worried mother to death. I hope that this has been helpful information that you needed. Let me know if I can do any more. Now, Mother went into an experimental program in 2001. She died in 2002. But when she was given the initial diagnosis, it said she had six months to live. No, that wasn't God's plan. And we know that we are all here by God's plan. When I was thinking about families and how many people I know who've had Alzheimer's in our family, how many people I know in my family who've had cancer, I go to another very, very special family, the Chastain Bloodline. And, and this is an article that came out in the Pickens County Paper in 2011, I believe. The Pickens County Paper did a, an article about the Chastain Bloodline could hold the key to Alzheimer's research. When you have a family member diagnosed with Alzheimer's, then you get to thinking, am I going to be the next one? Am I going to be the next one? Am I going to be the next one? They have documented all the way back to the, I believe it's the 1700s. And if you have not read this article in the progress, I'm going to give you the date. You need to read it and you need to understand our family heritage. This was April the 9th, 2015. And it's again in the Pickens County Progress and it will show you where you can go and what you can do to chase down your family bloodline. Now, if you're like me and you were adopted and you don't know all your history and all your family, I can tell you that my grandmother committed suicide. My daughter committed suicide. They had no connection at all because Angela had never even met my grandmother. So that, you know, I think is just, we're dealing with serious depression. We're dealing with all kinds of things, but family trees often show the story. They tell the whole story. It's just like this honey. It tells the story of the bees. It tells the story of these bees because if we have the blackberry honey, and it tastes one way. We have the other honey, it tastes another way. We have the sourwood honey, it tastes another way. All these bees have a story. And somebody who knows what they're doing can trace their story. They can trace their story. They can even tell what kind of flowers they've eaten. Isn't that crazy? And so when we look at, as we age, we're aging. Jen, we're aging. I was thinking about Jen, the, the cancer that she has is like something very, very rare. And she said, give me anything, give me everything. Tell me where to go and what to do. I wanna fight this cancer. She's probably made it longer than anybody would have because she chose to fight it. My mother did the same thing. But at the same time, God was on her side. And, and I was talking to somebody this morning and they shared a very special story with me. And they said that a lady came up to them and, and wrapped her arms around them and said, prayers are going up for you. Your life is going to change. I promise you better days are ahead. And within 12 hours, better days began and better days continue. And it means that if you really think about the universe as it is today, God is still in control. God is still in control. All the craziness going on in the world, all the shootings over the 4th of July, which were just ridiculous. People going crazy and, and people were murdered and, and it's just crazy. God is in, he is still in control. And when I got that call, I thought I have known all along that one day God will step in and one day God will fix all that is wrong. I don't know when he's going to do it with this world, but this world is in a mess. We have to continue to pray for each other. We have to continue to pray about the situations that we see every single day from um, children being snatched in the trafficking of, of sex trafficking. There are so many things going on in this world that many of us my age never thought we would live to see. Never thought we would live to see and we're seeing it every single day. But we're going to share some music today. We have to lift your spirits. We're going to share some fireworks from Blue Ridge today. We're going to share a lot of really cool stuff today. And I hope it will all lift our spirits. <clears throat> I think this rain, we're about done with the rain. You know, it's supposed to rain every day this week. And I know we're all tired of the rain. But the rain is going to bring more flowers. 
The flowers bring more bees, the bees bring more honey, so we can't stop the rain. We can't stop the rain. So we're gonna do a commercial break, we're gonna share some music for you, and we're gonna share the fireworks, and we're gonna have a good day of just thinking, just thinking, just studying, just thinking. And think about what you can do today to make somebody else's life better. If you're, if you're like me and you always wondered, am I like my father? Am I like my mother? Who am I really like? Well, maybe we should all be more like our Heavenly Father. And I think that's something we need to stress and we need to study on because it doesn't matter who your biological parents were. What matters is who your Heavenly Father is. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Sit back and enjoy some great music. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ballground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third generation race car driver. And we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. Whether you're swimming in the sea, or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge.
Do you see how easy it is to go to Lake Blue Ridge? Do you see how easy it is to see the fireworks? You got to see the ball ground fireworks. There you got to see a little tidbit of the Blue Ridge fireworks. That's how easy ETC makes it for you. You didn't have to fight the traffic. You didn't have to buy any gas. You didn't have to hover over like an eagle like Tim did. <clears throat> you got to see it all because we have an amazing, amazing artist with a drone and he gets out and he does what you don't have to do now. So you get to sit at home in front of your TV and hit channel three, hit channel 14 and watch our local stuff. That is so very, very cool. And that was actually shot yesterday. So how neat is that? Love it, love it, love it. And I love that he captured that rainbow. That was absolutely beautiful. That was, that was techno dynamic. It was pretty cool, it was pretty cool. Today we're gonna to share some music with you, but I wanna share a picture that was taken of me. I was 16 years old, and I was with my friend who is still my friend 100 years later. That's me at 16, that's Glenda at 18, and today we're gonna to spend some time together. It is so amazing to me that we've made it this far. We're both still here, we're both still relatively healthy, and when we look at our genetics, when we look at our genetics, she's from Gadsden, Alabama. She grew up in a, a town that was full of Goodyear and tires and chemicals, and a lot of people in her town died from all the hazardous things that we worked around for many, many years that we didn't know were hazardous. Well, I worked in the trucking industry for years and years and years, but thankfully not in the shop where we were breathing all the chemicals that my poor husband breathed every day. But when we think about it, you know, she's in Gaston, Alabama, I'm over in Jasper, Georgia. We're both exposed to different things. We've made it when a lot of our family members didn't. There's something about our genetics. Y'all know and love Bill Senyard, my co-host for many years. Bill's family has been here on the program. The whole family was gathered together out of 12 of them. All but two have now passed away from Alzheimer's. Now, don't you know, in the back of his mind, he plans, he preps, he thinks, he tries to get ready for if that horrible disease were to attack him. It doesn't mean that it will. It means that you have the odds, but you don't know. It's like with me. I had always gotten a sunburn from the sun. I never had a tan in my life, and it used to make me angry because all my other friends were these cute little tan girls, and I couldn't get a tan to save my life because I blistered and I peeled. That's when you're, you know that you're going to be susceptible to that horrible skin cancer. I can't say it enough. I can't encourage you enough. Go get a skin checkup. Go get a skin checkup. And if your doctor says, well, I think that's an age spot, question your doctor and go get a second opinion. Because mine, they said for a long time, it looked like it was an age spot. It was melanoma. Don't, don't take no for an answer. If you know that you have that heredity, you know he, you have that genetic disposition, then go get a second opinion. If you're out in the sun, everybody at Lake Blue Ridge yesterday, I hope had on 50 sunblocker. I hope that everybody does and knows that we have to protect ourselves. We're not always going to get melanoma if we're out in the sun. We're not always going to have these problems, but you can help to protect yourself. And one of the things that I, I know, we have Xana a lot of times out in the sun, a little bit here at the farm and here and there, but to protect this baby's skin, protect your skin, protect your children's skin. If they go swimming, then make them get out of the pool and put some more stuff on them. Take care of them because um, we are our own best, we can diagnose ourselves better than most of the doctors can. And today, I'm sitting real still because yesterday my knee was feeling great and I thought, I've kicked this. No, I could barely walk this morning, so it's crazy. <clears throat> that has nothing to do with genetics. That has to do with the car wreck that we had when I was 30 years old. So some things are genetic. Some things just happen because that's the way it is. And one of the things that happened recently, and I've asked y'all to all pray for this dear, dear man, our sweet friend Vic Davis is sitting over in the nursing home getting better. He is getting much, much better. He had a fall. And they said it was that bad fall. Lucky that it didn't kill him. But they fixed his hip and he is recovering. So say a prayer for him. 
Also, I've heard from so many people who have reached their 10-year anniversary from fighting addictions. I've talked to people who've reached their 20-year anniversary from fighting addictions. If you are lucky enough that your family has not had to deal with somebody with an addiction problem, if you haven't buried somebody, a loved one, because of an addiction, then you need to say thank you, God, every single day. But if you have a family member that is fighting addiction, tell people every single day, if you have not stood over their grave, there is still hope. There is still hope. So today, um, say a prayer for everybody who's fighting addiction. Say a prayer for every mom who is saying, please don't take another child from me. Say a prayer for everybody who says, I wish my husband can get over his drug problem because he's bringing it in and our children are seeing this. If you could just say a prayer and add all of the people who are fighting addiction to your prayer list, I guarantee you God hears our words. Now we're going to take you to some music now. I love that y'all love Mr. Ella J's music. I love that you love Glory Bound's music. And we're going to share a little bit of both of those today. I love the idea that the 4th of July is an independent America today because of people, soldiers who gave it all. It is an independent day because we were a nation founded on the principles of the Bible. And, and it should be that way today. And boy, are we getting away from it. So. So today, say a prayer for our nation as we begin a new year, a new, a new beginning. Let's start over and let's go back to the old ways. And the old ways are just better. They're just better. And it's just like this honey. You know, we can go to the doctor and we can buy all these prescriptions. I, I spend a lot of money on the allergy meds I take, but this seems to help me more than anything. So, so if you want to purchase some honey, I'm, Dawn will probably shoot me for this, but I'm going to give you all her phone number. She has very little of it left. Her phone number is 470-230-0986. And again, it is Ella J or Pickens County, honey. She has hives in both places. So again, her number is 470-230-0986. And she doesn't have a lot of it left. Most of it is already spoken for, but she will have a little bit. So if you want to get some of the honey from either the LJ side, from those hives, or the Pickens County side, then, um, and, and truly, I love it. And, and bless Selena's heart, before she passed away, I took them a quart of honey and laid it on the porch about two weeks before she died. And um, I think about Rick every time I look at a quart of honey, and I just, I think, wow, how they started their day. But today, start your day with some good music. Let's go to some good music. And, and some good words to songs that will, I hope, touch your heart. There's a long Side to see They're all of your rich friends That knew you in the city And now they finally brought you Back to me The paper Someday you'd be 
returning with a fancy car for the whole town to see. Well, everybody's watching now, and I guess you finally got your dream. You're riding in one of them long black limousines. Tears I watch as you ride by With a chauffeur at the wheel Dressed up so fine I'll never love another I'll never love another My heart and all my dreams Ride with you in that long black a party week. A lot of people are going to be out on the lakes drinking and a lot of people are being on the roads driving and drinking and please, please, please every time I listen to that song, Long Black Limousine, the words, you were partying, went around the curve too fast, I always think alcohol was involved. 
please don't forget the Singleton family who lost their only child because somebody chose to drink and drive. They didn't just choose to drink and drive. They started at 9 a.m. and about 2 o'clock that afternoon, they happened to take this young boy's life. Drinking and driving will solve no problems for anybody. So all it does is create havoc and ruin lives. So please, if you choose to drink your business, please don't drink and drive. When I hear that long black limousine, that's all I think about is somebody drinking and driving and somebody's life changing forever. Now, we're gonna go to, I wish, I wish Mr. L.J. was sitting here today because he's so close. By like 1 a.m. this morning, he was very, very close to getting the lunchbox song done. And I cannot wait for y'all to hear it. It is, it is going to touch your hearts. It's going to make you think about old Ella J. It's going to make you think about your daddy coming home from the plant where he worked maybe at the, the, rubber, the rubber plant down in Jasper, H.D. Lee, the Levi plant up in Blue Ridge. It's going to make you think about your daddy and how hard he worked to provide for you. That's what it's about. Our families do that. Our families love us. Our families help take care of us. And then when a family falls apart, you gather together and you bring it back together. That's what life is about. When we, when we opened today and we were talking about Alzheimer's, I think about the Chastain family. Do you know that Dorothy has written over 200 gospel songs? She is one of those family members that has that disposition to have Alzheimer's. But God gave her this gift to write over 200 songs. You think about that. You think about her family. Her husband has written so many songs. They have all written so many amazing songs and they have performed for you in all your local churches because God gave them that gift. He also seems to have given their family that disposition of Alzheimer's. But look at what they've done as they're living their life. It's amazing to me. She's probably written 300 songs by now. But that is what we do. We come here to this earth and we do everything we can to make a difference in somebody else's life. We do something good for somebody. We, d we become a blessing for somebody. And what is that old saying? You're either a blessing or a lesson. Well, I hope that when I'm gone, y'all will say, well, she was a blessing to me. I really don't want to be a lesson to anybody. It is all about us being here and giving all we can give. We can give and we can give and we can give. When I look at this, honey, I think about what those bees did, and bees don't have very long life spans, which is very weird to me because they work so hard, I guess they work themselves to death. But we have a long, a long lifespan now. Many of us live to be in our 90s, and our I have aunts who live to be 96 years old. Make every single moment count, and I hope that when you sit down with us here at ETC, it, you make the moments count. Listen to the music, listen to the words, know that there's something good out there for all of us. And if you've enjoyed Dwight's music, I know a lot of folks are asking me, how do I get the CDs, how do I get the CDs? Pick up the phone and call me at 404-375-0590. And again, he has five that are ready now, and uh, they're five for 45 or $10 each. You can reach me and I'll get them to you. But the new one is coming. He's so excited. I thought the man, he was like a kid, like, oh, daddy's lunchbox is almost done. Yay. How cool is that? How cool is that to bring those memories of an old time growing up here in Gilmer County? And I can't wait for y'all to hear it. So right now we're going to go to a little bit more music. And um, I think you're going to enjoy some of, you know, Trace gets to control the shots. Trace gets to pull the music. I never know what he's going to throw at me, but he knows that everybody loves the limousine song. Is that song that you all love. So here we go to some more music by Mr. Ella J.
Mommy went the way she always wanted to go From here to there in just a moment's glow She didn't have to suffer She just drifted off to sleep Into the arms of Jesus Forevermore to keep And I'll bet they're singing in heaven tonight They're gathered in Join hand in hand I know the angels are filled with delight Cause they've got my little mommy in the band Someone with trouble singing sweet, sweet harmony She'll help them on the part Just the way she used to be And if someone needs a friend Just to sit and talk with them She'll answer It's 3 a.m. Yes, I'll bet they're singing in heaven tonight. They're gathered in on heaven's shining shore.
can't get worse But I've been wrong before The postman brought a letter He said he needs my signature He don't know you had to go And the way you left me here I told him I don't love you oh, But the Lord knows I still do And he knows just what I feel inside And the things I'm going through My brother said there's a bottle That'll make this go away I could drink until it's over Or until my dying day I could do all this and tell myself I don't care anymore And I could hope it don't get worse again But I've been wrong before Left a message on my phone I called in to talk to him To see what's going on They're laying off across the plant Employees by the score I would say things can't get worse But I've been And I could turn to the bottle and make this go away. I could drink until it's over or until my dying day. I could do the Country 